Hi boys, um, just wanted to go over some of the uh, strategies that you're going to use when you are finding the area of more than one rectangle. So we're going to call these compound shapes because we're trying to find the total of a few areas. Okay, so let's have a look at this shape. Now, if you this was one big rectangle with just a bite taken out, I could work out the whole area and then work out the bit that's missing and take it away. But today, I'm going to look at three separate areas and then find the total area. So let's go. I would like you to have a look and mentally find out where you might divide this shape into three separate rectangles or squares. All right, so if I'm looking at this first one, it kind of makes sense to me to divide these shapes into three separate areas. Let's name them. The first one is area A, area B, and area C. And to find the area of this shape altogether, we will need a total area. Okay, let's have a look. So the total area is going to be area A plus area B plus area C. But we need to know each area in turn. So area A is going to be, using our formula, equals length multiplied by width. So the length and the width are the same here. So for area A, we've got 3 metres multiplied by 3 metres equals 9 metres. Let's look at area B. It's a little bit more difficult. We know our length, but what is our width? There's no value there. Let's have a look here. We can work out that if it's 1 metre there, this area here, if it was 1 metre there, the rest would be 2 because it is parallel to this 3 metres. So let's write that in there. So area B is going to be length multiplied by width, which is 6 metres multiplied by 2 metres. Let's have our equals all underneath one another. 6 times 2 is 12 metres squared. I haven't got my metres squared in there. Okay, and the last one, let's see if we've got some room. Area C equals length times width. The length is 4 metres. Always put the value of the length underneath the L. 4 metres multiplied by 2 metres. And the answer, of course, is 8 metres squared. So, like we said earlier, the total area is area A plus B plus C. So we're going to say total area is going to be A, I'm going to put it underneath, 9 metres squared plus B plus 12 metres squared plus C, which is 8 metres squared, equals total area I can see two numbers that go really well together to make 20, 29 metres squared. And therefore, the answer is um, the total area of this compound shape is 29 metres squared. Have a go now in your booklet answering and finding those two or three separate um, areas and then adding them together. Bye.